Welcome back to the Now You're Friends podcast. <laughs> oh my god. I had to switch into fucking you performer mode me. really quick. <laughs> Welcome back to the Now Your Friends podcast. We're here again. We are not in the Now Your Friends studios. We are in the living room because the studio was a little too spooky for me this week. <laughs> I was in there setting up and the wind was too strong. But I'm, of course, I'm here in our living room with my co-host. Dennis Campbell. Hello. Hey, how's, the, how's your week going, Dennis? Good. The ghosts have been out and about in the apartment lately. So What does that mean? I don't know. You said it was spooky in there. Oh, okay. Dude, I had a terrible dream the other night. Is there really ghosts? I think so. I had a dream the other night that I was like, it was like a half dream, half awake thing. I told Dan about this, where I um, spooky. <laughs> I I was like I was like about to fall asleep, and all of a sudden in my dream, someone was counting down to when I was gonna die, and I hopped out of bed and started like running around my room. Like, no, 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 no. You told me this. I told you this last night. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we're back on everyone's favorite podcast. Where we're trying to take two strangers and see That's if we can sumptuous. make them into <laughs> the best of friends. What did you just say? <laughs> we're trying to take two strangers and see if we can make them into the best of friends. Okay. You're like a bordering on like a D Reynolds thing right now. D Reynolds, like yeah. from Always Sunny. Yeah, like a bunch of like nonsensical voices you stupid yeah, exactly, exactly uh to my right dennis you want to introduce tom because he's yeah we got tom crosby on the podcast what's uh, up tom hello everybody like uh bill <laughs> cosby crosby crosby no, crosby yes. stills nash and young yes yeah, yeah. way Fuck, better this guy hates me already. <laughs> <laughs> and over here we got Shit. we got the lovely dan hall what's up Hall, like, um, like Hall and Oates. Uh, like a hallway. Like a hallway. Like my mother's <laughs> pussy. <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah, or like Hall and Oates. <laughs> or like a hallway. Is that one of the things you were preparing for? <laughs> <laughs> like Tom's like, what's this kid's last name? I forget. Oh, it has something to do with his mom's pussy, is it, I think. Is it mom's wide <laughs> pussy? Oh, Dan Pink. No, no, that's not it. <laughs> that's not it. Dan wide. Oh, Danny Tight. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> what's up, Tom? I'm not normally like that. That's, that's not like me. Dude, Dan got <laughs> blue for no reason. It's not really like what me at all. It's all right. Dan's working blue on the Now Your Friends podcast. Like immediately, for some reason. Ah, so you want to you want to tell us how you met Tom? I, I hope your mother isn't watching. <laughs> I, I hope she is. She's here Gabby. right now, actually. Yeah. Um, no, she's just one of the ghosts. I know. Uh, yeah, Tom she's, and I. Oh God, she's alive and well. <laughs> she's alive and well. We said we we're gonna do a loose podcast today. This is, uh, this is very loose. This is loose. I'm this in. Is looser. Uh, <laughs> Much like Dan's mom. Very loose. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Pal. Whoa, That's hey. My <laughs> He's like, don't talk about my mom sucking pussy like that. <laughs> uh, go ahead. Uh, now, to- Tom and I met, uh, I think it was through Ushino. Uh, actually, I, the first time I ever remember meeting Tom Crosby, I was at the uh, South Shore Plaza, and I was with Tyler O'Donnell, future guest, uh, and I ran into you and Shino at the mall. I don't even remember that. I don't remember. Okay. Is okay. Shino I, a man? Well, what were we doing? Shino was a guy. Shino was a guy. F- another future guy. Shino was a dude. Uh, I think we just like, ran into you at the mall. Hmm. Yeah, definitely a uh, dude. I remember s- meeting you in the hallway with Katie Crowley. Oh, Katie Crowley. Hallway, huh? And I remember... What are you trying like, to get at? I thought, I thought you looked like Clark Kent. Ah, you I, were I very going, Clark very Kenny when then. we met. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was a haircut. The haircut, big buffs. They're saving a lot of people. You were flying uh, around with a cape. Indestructible. Yeah. Laser eyes. You have very uh, wispy hair. Wispy? Yeah. You think it's like, not thin. Yeah, it's whispy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, like, it's, it's whispering okay. away to your forehead. Like it does the oh thing that, <laughs> that Clark Kent does. <laughs> you guys are making yeah, oh, it. Let's oh, do yeah. the thing. Yeah, the, yeah. Thing. Yeah, the yeah. Clark Kent the curl. Thing. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, the yeah. curl. Yeah, it does. I have curly hair. I have curly hair. It is cool that you think you're balding. Ah, I don't think it's cool. It's a fun insecurity to have. On top of my head. Let me see it. Yeah, bend over. Show the camera, actually. I don't no, think you no. are. I, I think no, I think it's thinning. <laughs> yeah, put it right up to the camera. <laughs> 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 Let's take an audience poll. Yeah, no, no, I don't like yeah, that What do you guys idea. think about it? That's saying. not fun. <laughs> so, Tom, you remember meeting Dennis. What were your first impressions of him? That he looked like Superman. <laughs> okay, yeah. I, me- I meant personality-wise, though, when, as you guys oh, became um, friends. I acted like Superman, He was in a too. rush. <laughs> <laughs> That's, <laughs> like, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to get somewhere. <laughs> He's well, always trying to get somewhere. We're in high 
He's always trying to get to the next plan of five that he's made in the last hour. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do tend to do that, mm-hmm. uh, and it's, it's the best way to the best way to be. You need to think Hermione has. Well, the uh, like the time travel. saver in uh, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, which makes no sense. No. Uh, yeah, you can poke it holes in it, but I mean, it's I mean, it's magic, dude. <laughs> yeah, but come on. Yeah, I know, but, but I mean, I'm sus- I'm suspending disbelief this much. I'm not gonna be like, um, actually, uh, the time, <laughs> the, time <laughs> the time wouldn't make sense if she's there and there. She can't d- actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, of course, it's a rabbit hole that we can go down on a different podcast. <laughs> Our <laughs> Harry Potter spinoff pod? Yeah. Oh, Our wait. What the fuck's going on in Harry Potter podcast? I have never <laughs> seen... I've <laughs> seen one Harry Potter up? movie my entire life, and it was the last, the very, very last one, <laughs> yeah. and I was with Tyler. The go Voldemort, go Voldemort, and go Voldemort. And so many people were emotional around me, and I just had no idea what was going on, <laughs> wait, but I didn't want to like ruin the, the moment for them. You didn't know it was going yeah, on. I've never seen a Harry Potter movie in full. You're not a Harry very, Potter guy? No. I totally really. could have seen... That's why I brought up the Harry Potter stuff. Oh. I thought you were going to love it. No, you kinda, I, it, Tom I it, loves it. it That's why me and Tom are best friends. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> I didn't even realize. Yeah, we're not friends yet. Yeah. Whoa, <laughs> Tommy. Yeah, it's, 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 slow down, slow down. Know. I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> so you guys met in got, high school. Yeah, yeah, high school, high school friends. Me and Dan met at an open mic. Yeah. D- did we meet before my first mic, or do? No, I'm, I came the day you started comedy. <sighs> I saw you go up, and I was like, bro, I came up to him after, and I was like, dude, I want to do this so badly. And you were like, just, you know, get up there and do it, man. Yeah. yeah I gave you, sick. like, some sage you advice. You gave me some great advice. As an, as an elder to you. I and was then like, I Listen hated up, you. Yeah, I was going to say. For, Dan, like, <laughs> most <dude>. years. <laughs> <laughs> for, like, legit for years, like, you did not no, like No, for, like, well, a year. It yeah, was for like a year. But we were like running shows together. I know. Did Did you? I'm insane. I was insane. I'm fine now. <laughs> I was it, nutty. It's so wild. I was crazy. <laughs> yeah. It's Wait, just, what didn't you like about Tyler? Right. I hated. Uh, <laughs> Actually, I've, 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 I've never asked this question. <laughs> uh, maybe because I don't want to know the answer, but go ahead. I want to know the answer. Uh, I hated. Uh, you know what it was? You know it was like fuck. a big one? Do I have like a bit that you what? don't like? No, it wasn't okay. a bit. I actually like the bits. I was like, fuck, this is hilarious. Oh my God, that's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> I hated that uh, you were in the Sean Carter group and I wasn't. Oh. That was all it was. I was like, this son of a like bitch. Like Lil Wayne? Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> that right. one. Yeah. Is this too serious? No, 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 no. That was, I, that's, that's what it was. That's wild that that's what that was. Yeah, I was like, fuck, how do I get in? You kind of got in though. Like, I never did. You yeah, know, I was hoping for something. <laughs> it was weird that he was like he would he always just, like, like, didn't like he would me. always pick like me and Logan for things. Yeah. And like we you know, we were all we were at we're all at the all same level and like, like we're all just fucking bobbing around Wacky. doing the same thing. We're all drinking, it's not like you're all that. hammered the whole time. Yeah, and he's like, You two <laughs> over here, that Dan fun. fucking corner. Yeah. That's anyway, how it Yeah, and then we became best of friends. And we became the world's best of friends. The world's best friends. Yeah. Uh, I was hoping for something a little juicier, honestly. Yeah, wait. Yeah, you, you I like thought you were. Uh, I'm sure there were other things. Well, yeah. What else did you hate about me? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's let's dig a little deeper. <laughs> yeah. No, really, that was it. I hated when you took a picture as the Bernie Sanders thing. I was like, he doesn't even vote. <laughs> <laughs> Did that you wait? You really felt that? I felt that. That one. is ridiculous. I was, like, I was like, "This son of a bitch, big fucking fat me with my back <laughs> tat eating, eating ice cream, ice eating cream. ice cream." I was like, "Why couldn't I get a picture?" <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, how many Bernie Sanders rallies have you been to? Uh, yeah, not a lot. Didn't think so. I've been, I've been to one. You went to so. a Bernie Sanders? Wait, you went oh, to yeah. a Bernie Sanders rally and you didn't vote for? You didn't I actually did him. vote for him. Oh, okay. I, I, Tyler committed a little bit of voter the, fraud. What's uh, the statute of limitations on voter fraud <laughs> 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 and the penalty of it? No, don't incriminate. I mean, yourself, I was trying to. No, I was trying story. to stop the steal the other way. <laughs> 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 I stormed Nash School and fucking. I was like Richard Swain. He had to vote, and they were like Richard James Swain. I was like, you bet your ass. And you go when it that's is my dad's name. Your dad, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It That's was funny because cool. I, I was right before I was at my parents. I was like, oh, I'm going to go try to vote. I don't even know if I'm registered. He's like, whatever you do, don't vote for fucking that Bernie guy. That's so great. then my dad voted for Bernie. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. That rules. Yeah. yeah. You got him. Well, <laughs> And then he got us by, uh, you know. Yeah, he won. Biden he won in the win yeah. in the long run. Because this was. Damn. Oh, no, no. No, this was. Uh, yeah, this was recently. So, yeah. 
Remember when Trump won and Logan cried? Yeah. <laughs> Logan <laughs> cried? He says he doesn't, but he did. He cried. He, he was upset we, about it. We were all like we were all like just becoming friends at the time. We were like in a car outside of the open mic and we were like I think we listened to the radio. <laughs> It was, we were. Yeah, it I was, was like, smoking. and it looks like Donald Trump has taken the lead. <laughs> like, you guys don't understand. Uh, the world is not going to recover from this. <laughs> Me and Dan were like, I get it. Yeah, <laughs> we were fine. Though. American yeah. Horror Story made a whole season off of it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, well, I'm trying to make a fun way to be like, I'm going to make some fucking money off this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I feel like a lot of people made money off it. Donald Trump, especially. <laughs> okay, hey, I mean, Dude, we can he, joke about a lot. Of I'm things with here. her. He supplied the world with so many. He really was the fucking he was funniest. The funniest president we ever had. I am no Donald Trump supporter, but easily the funniest It'll president. It'll be funny in been. history to look at him and be like, that was silly. That was that ridiculous. We did that. Yeah. Yeah. He was a yeah. silly guy. At a time when we really needed someone, you know, not, not silly. silly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've seen the truth in it. It's silly. Look at you going over there. Sorry, I'm chugging yeah, my magnets and trying to loosen up. up for the Do we podcast. have any icebreaker questions? I feel like uh, this is the longest we've ever taken to get to an icebreaker question. Yeah, well, I know I, nothing about Tom. Yeah. Oh, yeah other shit. than that, well, he this likes is Harry Potter. Yeah, okay. Dennis, get to, make them get to know each other. Okay. Uh, I guess we should ask some icebreaker questions <laughs> so we can find some common ground. Yeah, you have that one that you <laughs> were going to read. I have one from last week. Um, oh, uh, Stan Lee from, ask, from last week asks, uh, if you were the opposite sex for a day, what would you do? And your answer cannot be sexual. <laughs> You're See, so taken aback. Uh, what so the fuck else is there for ladies, right? <laughs> give the boys some pussies off the off. No. <laughs> no, no, no giving boys pussies. I would girls. like that, though. Tom, a little bit about me. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to get fucked. <laughs> By a lady? Ah, uh, yeah. I can be your lady. Whoa. You have, you are, you do have a type. You don't, I don't know if you have a type, but that's what I'm trying to say. No. I think you just want to fuck. I, you, I think you, all the things, all the things. Yeah. Everything. You're attracted to all the things. All, everything. Obviously you can show some restraint. Yeah. For but sure. you do want to fuck a lot. of. I don't want to like, fuck Tom. If I switch you do, you don't. into the opposite gender, am I like a seven or am I like a three? I feel like you're equal to whatever you were, uh, whatever you are as a. Oh as shit. So I'm a 10. My answer is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah an 11. <laughs> a 10. Very humble here. And, uh. Now your friend's studio. Dan, what do you think you are on a scale from one to ten? Uh, I'm As a solid five. Sex. A five? Oh, I'm a solid right. five, folks. I'm a 6.5, I think. 6.5. I, I five. would kind of give me a 6.6 6 if I had to guess. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like throwing a random number out there, like a 6.6. You're 6. a hunky guy. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, that, that, that struck him deep. Hunky. Yeah, I'm hunky so, is good. He's, he's, he's saying good. I'm fucking fat. No, he's saying... No, he's not saying I'm big. I'm saying I'm a hunk. <laughs> I'm like a big fucking hunk of... People no, I'm a hunk hunks. of nothing, dude. I'm a hunk of nothing. You're definitely a hunk of something. You're a hunk, dude. You're a hunk of, <laughs> yeah, I'm a hunk you're of like, bad boy. You're like tall, good looking. You know what I mean? You're like oh. like a long guy. Yo, Dan, are you trying to fuck Tom? No, I'm just saying all of our feature... <laughs> Wait till I a point. become a girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will. So, I'd say I'm a 6.7. All right. Oh, you say you're 6.6. I, I said 6.8. I'm a 6.8. 6. So, no, you said 6.6. <laughs> 6. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, I said 6.8, and who no, does the no, editing no. around here, Tom? <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> do you want to remain a 6.7, or do you want to go a little lower? If I were a girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I would do. Um, I, 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 I'd probably walk. Oh, that's kind of sexual, I guess. Stan leaned it. I just say I'd walk by like a bunch of construction we sites. Like, yeah, we can call. A, we can call a friend. Say the question again. <laughs> what did she say? Yeah. Say the question one more time. If you were the opposite sex for a day, what would you do? And your answer cannot be sexual. There's really nothing I'd want to do because, like, what? Like, I guess, like, see what the. Uh, See, this is what we're what, gonna try to avoid. Us what going, do girls? Uh, what would girls want to do if they were boys? Uh, All sorts off. of stuff. Probably lift. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> play, baseball, play baseball. Play professionally. <laughs> yeah, baseball. That's play a football good. professionally. Uh, drive from point A to point B drive. safely. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they're bad. They're worse drivers. All right. So I'm saying if they become guys. You think you're a superior driver. Oh, wear Every, my ta- I'll wear my towel. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I wear my towel you, up here if you and were up number 300 that the hair driving in men, you'd be number 1. What's up? In women? Wait, so driving. Driving. Rank do the question again. If you were like 
number 300. As a woman. Like being good at driving. And then you're a woman. You be number one. I mean, you immediately be number one. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> like, literally, it boosts right up. Immediately. Shit, no. Yeah. I'm not, I'm, I'm not even fucking around. <laughs> uh, I, think, I think women. There's, I, I've met plenty of fine women drivers. Dennis, I've driven with like my mom. I've driven with your mom. They're not good drivers. My mom's not a good driver, no. <laughs> my sister's a bad driver. They're scary behind Dennis, the you're wheels. You're a pretty bad driver. Right. Uh, you call me a girl? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> your driving record does show. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. Let's, let's not get into my driving record. It's the signs of a bad yeah. driver. All right. We're not Dan's a great it. driver. Oh, I would. Yeah. <laughs> Dan, what's the worst thing that you ever did in a car? In a car, I... um. Well, I was a truck like driver. The most illegal thing you did. The most illegal thing I used to drink violation. and drive like quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's really illegal. <laughs> like wicked drunk, so drunk. Um, but yeah, I always made it home. Oh, you uh, you had that field sobriety test. One oh yeah, night. I had a field sobriety test one night. You and passed. I was on pass? Dabs and Adderall and a bunch of alcohol, and I passed. It was the Adderall that got you. Yeah, really. Yeah, it was because yeah. the yeah. guy said Adderall to me, working overtime on that one. He's the like, guy all right, said, "Do these SAT questions in thirty minutes." That's all it was. Yeah, he was legit making me do like all the stuff, and then he was finally like, "All right, I'm gonna make you take a breathalyzer," and I was like, "Okay." <laughs> You're like, why? I'm fucking sober. And he was like, do you so consent to take a breathalyzer? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, all right, get out of here. And didn't make me take Ooh, it. Ooh, that's and I was so like, scary. Ooh, see you later, bitch. And then yeah. we got pulled over five blocks down the road. <laughs> 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 from, from, For from what? Like, you like Trump. For what? Because it was something about, we were just like the only people in this town. Yeah, you were like coming over from Maine? Yeah, and we needed gas. I couldn't find was gas. Was it the same cop? Like, did he No, it was another cop, and, and I was like, sir. I rolled down the window. I was like, sir, we we were just pulled over down the road. <laughs> I don't want to do this again. We just went through this. We already did this. I'm sober. I passed. We're fine. <laughs> don't make me do it again, please. <laughs> I remember right after that, you were driving us somewhere, and we had been drinking, and we were flying over the, the Tobin Bridge, and a cop like pulled out behind us, and you were like, fuck, <laughs> fuck. <Yeah. laughs> and it drove right past us. You're like, all right, okay. <laughs> I never seen someone go so high to so low yeah. so bad. I mean, we were fucked. Like, you had like forgotten that you were just screaming fuck. You're like, oh, okay, no, I was just yeah, worried. Wait, why were you fucked? Because if they pulled us over, we would have. I was probably drunk. I was. Everyone else was drunk and drinking. There was probably some in the cup holder. It wouldn't have been a good scene unless it was a very old Irish cop. <laughs> it was old Irish like, cop. Get out of here! Making some good speeds, <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, sometimes get, get you can run into a good one. Are there old Irish cops out there? He's just uh, as drunk. My grandfather was an old Irish cop. That's a good point. And he was a retired Wait, are, are you Irish? old Irish You're cop. Irish? I thought Campbell's like Scottish. Oh, he's Scottish. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm thinking. Uh, get out of here! He's a Scot- old Scottish yeah, cop. Yeah, fox. I'm not talking with you. Just gotta move. Get that's the cool. hell out of here. Tall, what are we doing? Are we still recording? Yes. <laughs> you know, with that, and that's it. Hope you guys are friends <laughs> now. <laughs> um, well, most illegal thing I ever did in a car. Running over a 15-year-old boy? Oh, yeah. I guess so. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we've already, but we've already told the Wait. story in the pod. Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah. Damn. Sorry. Yeah. I'm Do it quick. Yeah. For, uh, my good friend Tom. <laughs> yes. uh, Tom. I was driving. I was sober. There was a kid. I hit him. He cracked the windshield. He bled. He crawled. I picked him up. He left. <laughs> <laughs> then what happened? Damn. Uh, <laughs> Damn. What do you What do you mean? Which part? <laughs> the part about someone you know knowing. Him. Oh, and then I uh, then I had called my cousin to tell her story. It turns out this kid was like a stu- she. He had, he had like run away from school. He had like just been expelled and everything like that. Oh, so you did. You did justice. He, I did, so justice. did justice. Yeah, and it works on stage he's too. The real, he's the real. Wow. <laughs> 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 uh, so you thought you were fucked, but then you were like, "Oh, we kind of deserved it." Yeah, kind. I literally. Kind of, this punk. I remember like. That, I don't know if I told this part on the podcast where like weeks afterwards I'd be like telling the story, in like that in the hallways oh, at work. No. That, no, in the hallways at work. Did I tell this? Oh, the no. insurance companies would be calling, and I'd be like, "Yeah, yeah, you said that." Okay, yeah, and I would just be talking. I was like, "Yeah," then I. I'm like at work, people walk by me. And I'm like, I thought you were gonna then he like rolled up on the window and he <laughs> smashed his skull. And I thought you were gonna talk about uh, the time you told that joke at a function hall. Oh, that was funny actually. It was down the Cape. It was like at a restaurant. Where? Well, yeah. It was. I did a show with um, my boy Sean Carter. He was like always asking me to go oh, open for fuck. him. So. <laughs> and <laughs> it was me, sh- like I was like my career is over. <laughs> I'm not in with Sean Carter. Well, me, Sean, and uh, Bill McMorrow went down, and I opened. 
and like they're like, oh, just be as fucking dirty as you want. Be what I was like, I'm not even a dirty guy. Like I'm not nothing to worry about. Sneeze on it, my penis. And I did that bit, and the whole like I'm doing like the then I hit the kid with the car, whatever. Then and the whole time the audience is like, <gasps> like looking around, like gasping. I'm like, oh, I'm like an edgy type of yeah. comic. <laughs> then I go on to the other stuff. No, nothing hits, and I I turns out that like the owner of the bar, who's like everyone's best friend, had been on trial for like a year. For murdering a boy with his car <laughs> and like had just gotten like let off the hook somehow. And like they were like celebrating that day. For, like, they couldn't fucking run that by me. Like that's why everyone's here right now. But I'm like, yeah, isn't it funny to like hit boys with cars? This kid was fine. There's like a this guy. I got away with the <laughs> Yeah. The joke's like, thank God I hit him. Am I right? Yeah, that's really, yeah, I'm kind of a hero, right? <laughs> for hitting boys. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's fantastic. Bill McMorrow like heard it in the back and like pulled me aside and like told me this. Told me that I was oh my god, should I like apologize? <laughs> like I got paid. You got paid. Hey, I got paid. <laughs> I got paid. <laughs> yeah, I, like because well, I was worried. I was like, this guy's not gonna pay me. He's gonna like ban me. It wasn't big money. You know, it was like seven hundred fifty dollars, but it's like not big. What? Did you really get paid no, seven hundred? <laughs> <laughs> it was like it was seventy five bucks to oh, open down bad. the cave. Retroactively mad. I'm like yeah. what the fuck. <laughs> Uh, have you ever had a field sobriety test, either of you? Uh, no. I, we, so on 11, 11, 11, we oh. smoked an ounce of weed. Yeah. Oh, for one. Yeah, we yeah. did. Yeah, and I think I don't, I remember this story. So this was bad. Guys, you're from Weymouth, but are you from Weymouth? I'm from Quincy. From? Okay, Same nice. thing. Same but, thing, um, roughly. Yeah, a little bit. Are you upset? <laughs> Huh? Are you upset I'm from Quincy? <laughs> Can we be friends? Dude, I'm from Quincy now. Are you really? You live friends, in Quincy? Yeah. Yeah, I do. You got to move to Weymouth yeah. now. You guys can go with the swap. That's cool. Wait, where in Quincy do you live? You don't have to say the exact address, but it would help. I live in Walston. Okay. Where, like, over by the choo-choo yeah. train? By cool. the wow. choo-choo train. And cool. the, ho- the building that says choo-choo on Choo-choo, baby. Oh, yeah. yeah. So what happened? We won't say the address, but we're going to describe the address. The <laughs> <laughs> what happened when you yeah. smoked that ounce? Oh, yeah. We smoked an ounce. And, uh, ouch. We got caught at the field. So they were doing a sobriety <sighs> check. At McDonald's. Oh, oh they used to do God. this all the time. What? They had, like, the whole parking lot filled with cars that they yes. had. Yes. Oh, no. Dude, this like, was like a thing for a while that like every time on Route 18 right by that McDonald's. Yeah, the Dairy Queen McDonald's big one? We would call Route each 18? other and be like, hey, they're doing another check. Yeah, the big one. They would do this for they like do it all the time. Like right. once every few months. Oh, my God. I can't believe With I the ever. Play it's because Hearth and Kettle was a popping place and people were really. Hearth and Kettle. <laughs> the Hearth and Kettle. I'm here for brunch. <laughs> Sorry, I interrupted. No, yeah, I remember that because uh, I was sitting shotgun when we got pulled over. Yeah, the cop told you to be quiet. Shut the, yeah, <laughs> he's like, yeah. All right, you, yeah, you shut up. I'm talking to him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because he was, uh, you Excuse said me, something. officer. <laughs> yeah, you, well, he asked you a question. He didn't, he didn't say anything. You're like, I'll take a breathalyzer. Uh, I'll I take guess, a breathalyzer. Dan told me. <laughs> like, don't you. <laughs> don't you. <laughs> Yeah, that was no, scary. Yeah. But we, we didn't get, uh, we just kind of got like the, they checked us and then yeah. they sent us along our way. I He took scary, my though. license and I wasn't even able to drive people yet. Really? I was like still, yeah, you know how like. Yeah, the that had, like, window where the, you're not allowed. Yeah, the I six months, I think, right, where you had to have like a chaperone or yeah. something. Yeah. They didn't yeah, yeah, care about that. They never cared about that. I never got in trouble yeah, for no, it. But I also never got pulled over. I was like a pretty good driver. Yeah. I still kind of I was so nervous though. I was so hot. Yeah, that was a, that was bad. That was. Around the time where like weed was still illegal, so I was like, "Oh my god, we're all yeah. so Weed stoned. was such a scary drug. I it's not a scary I drug, but I, I, I was scared to, when I, I had it. I used to walk miles drunk. away from my house, yeah. find a patch like, of woods, yeah. walk yeah. miles yeah. into the woods, the smoke weed in the woods, and then walk like four miles back. <laughs> yeah. I would do that yeah. too. And then like if I ever like, had like, times of the year, I would get rid of the rest of the weed I had after I smoked weed. It would be like half a blunt. Someone would have rolled it for me. And then I'd go bury it down the beach <laughs> 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 because I One was so have a weed tree. afraid <laughs> of getting caught. We should go find. We should go find. Uh, yeah, you little. I used to bury beach. joints and blunts everywhere, and like bags of weed. I would just throw them into. Would the you woods. go find them? No, I would just be like, I'm never touching this again. You should just bury Wait, did you not like weed? Were you like, were you like, <laughs> I would you be like, I want to smoke like... it, and then I'd smoke it, and as soon as I smoked it, I'd be like, <gasps> I, I, what am I doing? I have weed. I'm a drug addict. What? And then I'd go down and like get rid of it. What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> and after the woods with a blunt and a shovel. Me <laughs> <laughs> like with my shirt off, sweating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do hard time for this one. <laughs> they find me out here. 
What am I doing? Dude, this pillow is so awesome. The Danny DeVito pillow. I got a field sobriety test in a swimming pool. Oh, yeah, tell Oh, yeah, one. you did get a field sobriety test Which in is a, a funny pool. story, but I never had to tell it Wait, funny. you got pulled over while you were diving in or something? Mm, uh, fit like, minutes after I dove in. I went to, uh, you know Meredith? Have you been to Meredith parties? Cellini? Eh, whatever. I don't think you have. I wasn't sure where the crossover was, but I, uh, I was, I had just showed up to Meredith's house for a party. She lives like a dead end in Abington, and I like got to the house. I took my like shirt off. I jumped in the pool. I was like swimming for like a while, and all of a sudden I look up, and there's just three police officers standing over me, and they're like, <laughs> "Who here?" They're like, looking around, they're like, "Who here owns a, a red Camry?" And I was like, "Well, I have a red Corolla." And they're like, "Get out of the pool!" <laughs> <laughs> it's like not even my, like not even the right car. And then you're like, I gotta go get the yeah, sticks down at the bottom of the pool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. One second, I'm looking for a penny. <laughs> <laughs> playing a game. We got the rings down at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, they're like, who owns a red camera? I'm like, Agility. Marco. <laughs> <laughs> Fish out of water. <laughs> you're it, <in>, officer. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> so I get out of the pool and like I'm dripping wet, and they walk me out in front of all my friends, uh, and they Why walk you. Like, uh, because I, I said I have a red Corolla, <laughs> which is they, they, yeah. They're like, who has red cars? And I was like, I have. Red. I was also hammered too. <laughs> I had just shown up, but I had come from a place where I had been having a good time, a good time, a good. That's a callback from an earlier yeah. episode. Yeah, it's like the first or second episode. Um, so I, they pull me out. I'm out there. I'm dripping wet, and they're like pointing at my car, or my car, and they're like, "You see the scuff mark on the rim? That means you s- you hit a curb earlier." I was like, "I think I, I was like, it's on every rim. Like, you think I'm just going? And the, you know, I could, but I think I'm like ping pong. It doesn't matter." <laughs> so then they had me like do like the walk the line, say the alphabet, and like all my friends like peering over the fence, like watching me. <laughs> I nailed it. <laughs> but you then crushed they were, it, right? Yeah, I crushed it. Yeah. But then they were like, "If we see you driving before midnight, you will be arrested." You're like, what happens after midnight? Yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting until 12.01. I'm peeling out. <laughs> Turn back into a pumpkin. Can I get that in writing? Yeah. It's, well, I really think they were just, they knew Meredith was having a party. Because, again, this is a dead-end street. They're just mad they weren't invited. This is a dead-end <laughs> street in uh, Abington. Uh, I got the burps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? It's like a fat guy. <laughs> like, this yeah. is a dead-end dead street. Bad guy thing. <laughs> it is a bad guy thing. Dude, the closer you get to a fat guy, the more you realize they burp all the time. Do you mean in proximity? Or? <laughs> no, dude. No, like, no, as no. I sit next to a fat guy, <laughs> I realize they burp a lot. <laughs> Tom Tom rules (laughs) We're best friends now Do you Are you saying you're Like are you gaining weight In burping Or or are you really Just making fun of me (laughs) No no dude He was just saying All fat men (laughs) He's like it's not just you I know a bunch of other Huge dudes (laughs) That burp all the time You're a hunk Tyler I'm a hunk I'm a hunk and lard I'm all set I'll eat it (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh, I just spit all over the microphone. Wow. That's gross. That's Logan. But yeah, they must have just picked like a random car out front and been like, <laughs> who owns it? To try to like send a message <laughs> to the party because she had gotten the cops called on her like most parties. Almost every single one. And like yeah. I had been there for a while. They couldn't have followed me from Route 18, but they picked the fucking right guy. I yeah. was like hammered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is funny when you're like, <laughs> you you're like I'm your trying to trick there. you right now. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Like, who can we beat up? Like, I can't get beat up. It's <laughs> 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 good. Uh, we need the police. Uh, and then I, I've had sex in a car. <laughs> of course. No. A, what? A, a car. While driving? A car. No. While I mean, she was just, driving. You just asked illegal things people did in the car. I've oh, had yeah. sex. Is, is that. Illegal? Which is pretty fucking cool, if you ask that me. That is Driving sick. under the influence? Thanks. That be? Uh, that'd be fucking under the... <laughs> fucking whatever. Under the visor. Fucking under, under the, the table. Under the table. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're, Tom, we're I throw a lot out there, if you haven't noticed. That, that's me, though, you know? That's, that's, that's Dan. <laughs> that's me. I, I'm giving you all I have. Fucking under the table. <laughs> Sounds like something you'd do during like a earthquake or something. If you really thought you were gonna die. That, under the table. That'd be sick, actually. Yeah. yeah what would you do if uh, if you had a day to live? What would you do? 
Mike. Oh, I'd start smoking cigarettes again. <laughs> <laughs> he comes out of the coughing fit. <laughs> I'd smoke more. <laughs> <laughs> Why, you miss butts? Yeah, baby. Like that? Yeah. Six months. No, no butts. Nice, dude. I How really do you want... Feel? I feel better, but I smoke a lot of weed, so... I mean, I kind smoke. Cancels it out. I smoke far smoke? less joints than hey, I you did know, cigarettes. Remember though. how like health class was saying that cigarettes, well, joints, joints were, were like, as bad. Yeah, as they're cigarettes. like six cigarettes, no right? Way. No, right? It's, it's probably the other way. That was no, no way. way. No way. No, joints that, are like dude, six cigarettes. I smoke like yeah. half a joint. Look it up on Google clip. right now. It will say that like a uh, joint is like equal to. Six in, what, in what I don't sense? Know if it's six, but it's like a few. That's fear mongering right there. It's yeah, fine. I don't even. I don't even know how that could even make sense, because cigarettes have a bunch of poison in them, and joints don't. Yeah, it's probably got, powdery mildew. They just Hell got yeah, that, brother! They got that good, good. <laughs> <laughs> I've been hanging around the pothead community for a little bit now, yes. Tom. I can. Wait, what's I can, a good, good? You're fitting right in. That darling. good, good. Well, yeah, what's the good, good? That's that dope Kush, Dennis. Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> you gotta wake up, man. Yeah. You gotta wake I, up have no, I have no idea. You gotta wake up and culture. smell the you don't bug, like dude. Good, good. Yeah. yeah. Do we dude, get the ratio? On, he's on bad, yeah. bad. That's <laughs> why. He gets sold bad, 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 bad. I couldn't find it. There's a place that sells forty dollar half ounces. Where? I think it's um, in Brockton. Not your place. Well, no, not your place. It's another place. Botivia or something? Fuck them. I'll fuck them up. I'll blow their fucking facility up. I'm not afraid. <laughs> Don't. I may have to cut that one up. <laughs> may have to cut that direct threat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. I would never. Or you could pay more. Right? Um, um, do you guys remember when your first boner was? <laughs> that was from... That's one of the questions in the shitbox. Oh, that's so. really good. Who asked yeah. that? Uh, it's from the anonymous uh, shitbox number. So, oh, oh, someone texted it in. Someone texted it I in. I think I told my mom. What? <laughs> well, my first one, I think I remember it. I told my I mom. I think I was like, too. I went up to my mom. I was like, it, why? Yeah. Why? <laughs> what happened? have you done? <laughs> I think I'm growing. <laughs> this way. <laughs> I, I, I legit do not remember mine. You no, don't. I, don't I know me and my cousin John yours. used to like lay down. And like I like it sounds like it's gonna get gay. Uh-oh. No, it's not gay. We were just we were sleeping <sighs> like i one of us be on the bed, the other one be on the air mattress and whoever's house and be like, Yep, it's happening again. <laughs> <laughs> so like, yeah, this is kinda weird, right? We just talk about it. <laughs> Whoa. And then, you know. That seems very healthy, honestly. That does seem very healthy. Yeah. yeah. We weren't like, Let me see yours or anything like that. We're just like, Oh, mine mine's hard again. It's kinda weird, right? <laughs> wow. like, yeah. And then we, we slowly deduced <laughs> we slowly deduced that it was when we were watching wrestling and the girls came on. Okay. We're like, okay. We we're like little uh, detectives got, using the scientific method. Alright. Alright. Got all riled up before the ga- girls came on. No, when the girls <laughs> came on. I'm gonna boner now. <laughs> no, Tom. <laughs> yeah, no, Tom. Get God, him. just happened. <laughs> 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 I've been visibly hard throughout the entire show, but oh yeah, now with look, look now though, there's like a girl. <laughs> Yo, I'm so hard. So fucking hard right now. Um, yeah, but that's that's my boner memories. Nice. Uh, I don't think I'm, I don't think I have too many significant boner memories. Like there was nothing that was like. We you sticks out. Don't you have like a giant penis? Yes. Well, no, it's no, been no, discussed no, 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 on the pod. I think. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Yes. No, no. Dennis he's one shy. time said, well, "I have a tiny penis," and it fucking hurt my feelings so <laughs> much because I've seen his penis a thousand times, and I have a tiny penis. And he, <laughs> Dennis, and pull he has a, the pod. Pull out He the has pod, like a Dennis. giant penis. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. So like, uh, when I, he, may, I might do it. I might do it. When he says he I'll has a small, it like hurts my feelings. All right, I'm we're ending this part out. Okay, but I'm not looking because right. it really bums me out. Wait, right. we're really no, looking at his dick? I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> 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 uh, not doing it. <laughs> no, I just don't like people talking about me having a giant dick. Because well, then stop oh, People are going to expect it. Oh, 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 that's so dumb. <laughs> that sucks My to have such a... My penis is huge. And oh, oh, fuck. And then guys I don't know they're going to have a good time with me. Boner. Guys, <laughs> love it. <laughs> that was the Now Your Friends podcast. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for Thanks for listening. <laughs> Oh, yeah, shit. nothing. Do you think gr- there's somebody who like just recently got their first boner? Like, it, no, it, like our <laughs> age, <laughs> <laughs> or like a, you know, every minute someone in America, uh, fifteen. <laughs> yeah. Where are you going? I just like to be <laughs> nice, <laughs> baby. That's a Wait, big give. Baby, up. that's a big give. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to do like one of those stats, like, I, 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 like a Sarah McLaughlin, yeah, like, like 
Yeah. Every oh, three minutes. Yeah. yeah. What about uh, your last three boner? Minute, That's got to be. Four hundred twins. You'll never know. What's up, your last Ooh. boner? Your last boner. You'll probably know because your last like comes. Stop well, getting. Dude, if I go know. out with an adrenaline rush, though, it's gonna be happening as I die for sure. Like the, <laughs> that, <laughs> that rocks. Yeah. Like a car accident or something. Well, if you're like jumping off the yeah, chair you're in a your pretty room. bad car accident, like I better start just like whacking yeah. at it. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna beat off. What? I'm saying that just the adrenaline, all of my blood will go to my dick. Oh, you know, I don't like, know if it works that way. But yeah, if you see like I haven't died. If you yet, see someone you love trapped under a car, and all of a sudden you just get like rock There's hard. Some logic <laughs> in it. No, no, no. You get super strong. You man. see like a little kid get trapped under a car. And you're like, you fuck! Come? I got so much adrenaline. I'm fucking so hard. Okay. You like lift the car up. And you don't lift the car. You just <laughs> yeah, come. Of course, of course, I don't lift the car. You up. only come. I don't want to look like a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> like I gotta go. <laughs> the adrenaline's too much. <laughs> That's a, <laughs> write that down. That's a funny sketch idea. Uh, <laughs> I don't think your body would do that to you. I think that. Like, oh, my body here. You're on. Um, <laughs> hey, here we go what about my like, body. Of I, that out by now. There probably was an animal that would come when it died, but it never like. It's just always they wanted to die. I yeah. heard you get, I heard you get bonus after you die. Still, <clears throat> like Rick and Morty. You get boners yeah. as a dead guy. Yeah, that's like, pretty cool. Like randomly, and you also fart and go. I know about the death rattle breath. <laughs> yeah. You ever that, see, have you ever seen someone out. die? No. <sighs> have you I, ever seen I've, someone? Yes. Oh, actually, yes, I have sort of. My papa, dude, wait. Uh, a, yeah. I have at the hospital. When you uh, transport, I held the like, transporting over his face. But it, Were you moving them when they died? Yeah. What did you do? Did you just put it in a park and like clock <laughs> out? <laughs> You're like, time for lunch break. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't want it to be like too fucking. Well, I mean, just, but, but, like, yeah. you don't have to say the name, but yeah. No, I have no idea what the name was. We'll find the name then. We'll, <laughs> we'll, <find> the name. <laughs> we'll put it on. We'll tag them. But. Yeah, well, we can post a production. Well, put this it could be an in, in memoriam. <laughs> we'll dedicate this episode oh, to it. If this gets in, but Dennis's penis doesn't get in, I'll be so <laughs> fucking pissed. Um, All right. All right. Yeah, but they just had. They they, they were really old, and they had um, like a seizure on the way. What is it? Just you? I was going into CAT scan. When they started, and I was kind of like standing around, being like, "Oh, okay, I'll fuck." Like, and I was like tapping on the glass for the (laughs) CT scan. They're in the middle of a scan, and um, they ended up coming out in a you know blue cart, coated. What's that mean? They died. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, they didn't die, but they had to do, like, an emergency. They'll call a code over the hospital. And Tom's then... knocking on the window. They open the door. They're like, shh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, kind of. Like, they're like, yes. <laughs> they were fucking mad that they were, they were... It's always confused me, and this isn't yeah. an insult to you, but... Because you weren't there when you were younger, obviously. I know you're uh, young yeah, now, I was but... like, 22. Yeah, it's always baffled me that they just let, like, these, like, 18 to, like, 25-year-old, like... Drunk pothead kids just fucking move bodies around the hospital without any training. I wasn't drunk. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not fat, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> well, yeah. uh, Wait, I'm not what is that called? Probably, an orderly? Probably, you're right. It's a, you, we just call it transport. Right. Is it or like a few people? No, I'm not like, saying what. I'm not saying when you're drunk or. Like, I'm saying like as like, you know, you're just like a, you're a kid. You're like going out and partying later. Right. And you're fucking moving this body around and it starts to die in front of you. Yeah, what are you? Like, what are you gonna do? It's well, like you're supp- yeah, like life you're supposed lessons. To get people to help, but yeah. I've no, no, yeah. If you're in the middle of the hallway, in the middle of nowhere, you're kind of fu- like that person's kind of fu- like you I've, have a phone on you, but it will take time. Yes, of course. I've known three <laughs> people personally with <laughs> special needs that worked in this field. Yeah. What name them? <laughs> no. <laughs> what are they gonna do? <laughs> When the body starts fucking shaking. Well, roughly, it's like a what guy you, I mean, going from like an X-ray. The to story a, Tom just told. To back to his room or something, right? I mean, you think you'd have usually like a, it'd be that, but Tom's fucking bringing someone to get a CAT scan. They die in front of him. Wait, Tyler, is Tom one of the special? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm pissed about that. They're just letting people do this. <laughs> yeah, That's yeah. traumatizing for yeah. a kid. Hey, any other traumatizing uh, dead body stories from your childhood? <laughs> Dude, what are you leading to? <laughs> Quick segue. <laughs> I don't know if you have you heard that your father's been mentioned on the two of our. I episodes? have heard. Yeah. 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 Well, he, what what what's been gone over? Like he's uh, most things. <laughs> corner, uh, dude. I mentioned the. Yeah, he's, he's, gotta, a, he's a great <laughs> guitarist. We've gone over that. He played yeah, guitar. He, he played, played guitar. Like, with he Aerosmith? knows fucking the what? Aerosmith guys, right? Yeah, he did. He oh, thank God, I got that story right. <laughs> Stephen. Joe Perry, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he played. That's cool, Tom. And he used to go around and fucking pick up dead bodies. He's a corner. He did. Yeah, he was. Corner mortician. Whoa. And, um, 
Yeah, it owned its own company. What have you guys talked about on the last episode? What do you see if you go into your uh, your basement? Tracy told the story about you guys. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. He had a coffin in the basement. Whoa. Yeah. Coffin did in the basement. You, did you play with it? No, but we did use it as a Halloween decoration. Yeah. We kept a uh, classic oh, yeah. vampire in there. What? Nice. No, I never even asked either of them. Why was there a coffin in the basement? I, he just, like, got one from his work. <laughs> they were like, they're giving I, this. I don't know. This honestly, is discontinued. I, one day I'm going to need I, it. So. I don't know, but I know he got one because he owned a funeral home with one of his buddies. Yeah. And he got one through that somehow. Yeah. What'd they smell like? Great question. What a weird question. Tom, just like a regular, I, I just know the clean, like a new. It was clean. <clears throat> yeah, it was new. But what it is like? It did, wasn't used. <laughs> 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 I don't know if there's like a showroom one you get. <laughs> it kind of, yeah, like. It was. Yeah. Yeah, like the silk pillows and stuff. Just getting a coffin at the Goodwill <laughs> store. <laughs> That's 800 bucks. I guess That's I bad. didn't have to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Uh, be cheap. I have another one. Be huh? cheap. What? Yeah, he was... Um... <laughs> yeah, any other stories that we haven't gone over about this fucking legend of a father you had that I never knew about the entire time knowing you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot about Lazar. I remember he... His name is Lazlo? His name's Lazo. Yeah. Lazo. Lazo. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. Right? He seems like that. Nicknamed him. But um, I remember the weirdest thing. He used to look, like work at like, a fucking lab or something. Yeah, but he he found Dennis's name. I remember we... Um, what does that mean? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck Dude. does that like, mean? So we like... <laughs> what do you mean? He found our uh, bong... Oh. We were in like high school, right? Yeah, and he he was like, I, "I'm gonna get fucking tested. Like, I'm gonna test it at the lab. I'll find out who's using." It. He was like, "Who are we with?" And I'm like, like "Nobody. I was just, you know, it's all mine." What a fool! Um, this is sick. Yeah, as a dad, being like, "Yo, I'm gonna go back. DNA test this." He came, he, like a few days later, he came back and he was like, "Who's Dennis Campbell? Who's <laughs> this? Who's that?" He what? Hadn't even met. I hadn't met Lazo like at that point. Facebook and everything. Lazo like, knew who I was before I knew who Lazo Wait, was. Wait, how did... One step ahead of the game at all points. He, like, did tests Literally. on this bong to find out who yeah, owned yeah. it. Yeah. He was like, he was like, I, know <laughs> I know Matt. I know James on it. You. Who's Dennis Campbell? And who is... I was like, I, you have been threatening this my whole life, and you did. You went and did it. <laughs> That's crazy. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> what, power? what a great... It Dude, could scientist be, or whatever it, it, it was. Could be he was like just asking <laughs> like a though. mad scientist. But it was like sort. back then but when weed was really bad. Like yeah, yeah. You got caught smoking weed, you're in trouble. Yeah. I don't know. Did you guys' parents care a lot um, about that? I didn't smoke until I was like twenty two ish. Oh, okay. So yeah. you're, you're but they were you're they I had a the first time I got way too high, I um I, f- I passed out and like smashed my skull and like had like a big bruise and I had to tell my mom that I like ran into a potted plant at like a party. Just because I couldn't tell her I was smoking weed. Oh, okay. Now you could that tell you tripped, <laughs> huh? You tripped. No, I said I ran into. I, I, I was ran into you a, ran with a the pot. pot. <laughs> that's exactly. That's exactly what I did. <laughs> that was your cover up. I was like, I hit a pot, <laughs> and I was like, this is funny for me and like only me. A pot. I'm like, pot? I'm doing like deep cut bits to myself. I'm like, I hit a pot. <laughs> You're gonna. I remember I showed up to Ryan Barker's room like I had because I couldn't go home. I was just covered in dirt, and I was like, what's up? He's like, what the fuck happened to you? <laughs> so I got high and fell down. <laughs> it was bad. That, One of the first imp- times I ever saw you get high, you ordered a Crunchwrap Supreme in a McDonald's. <laughs> you were there? Yeah, I was there for that. Oh, yeah. that's so nice. I didn't know you were there. Yeah. Yeah, we went to McDonald's, and I, we were inside the McDonald's, and I walked yeah. up, and I said, can I have a Crunchwrap Supreme? And they said, that's Taco Bell, dude. <laughs> dude that, that's an honorable. And mistake. then I turned around and everybody behind the counter laughed. Like, they like, <laughs> they were like in like Everyone a. behind the counter was laughing too. <laughs> yeah. They were like in like a huddle, like laughing at me. It, Wait, where were you? <laughs> out of McDonald's in Hanover. Oh, McDonald's. And I went out and I said, can I have a Crunchwrap Supreme? And they that's said. That's fucking they said, Taco Bell, They brother. said, that's, that's exactly. The guy was like a young guy. He was like, that's uh, Taco Bell, man. I was like, oh, oh do you Big know where Mac? it's at? <laughs> I just started eating Taco Bell like this year. I never really ate it before. It's pretty good. I uh, yeah, I eat it a lot. Taco Bell's the worst one for me. I'm sorry. I'm gonna th- I'm guy. gonna fucking end this. I don't sucks. love it. I get nervous <laughs> to order it, but it's still good. Nervous Wendy's is the best. Hey, the yeah, one, the one that makes me no. feel the worst is Taco Bell. Oh of really? Course. I feel yeah. the healthiest when I'm eating Taco Bell. <laughs> Out of all the fast food, it feels like the healthiest one. Because there's some semblance of like <laughs> there's vegetable, lettuce. Yeah. there's lettuce, there's vegetable, tomato, onion, beef. maybe. It's 
some beans, uh, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, but you can get all that at McDonald's. Oh, guys, I forgot. I'm so excited to see what's going to happen. I brought us all pudding. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're friends. And that's what Did you, you do with spoons? friends. Is this you have spoons? Is this? Yeah, I'll grab spoons. Go grab spoons. <laughs> Pass nice. them down. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Dan. Thank you, Dan. Pass them down. Yeah, that's, uh, is this one of the things you prepared? Yes. You're, make, you're wow. making my spoon swoon. So right? off air, uh, Dan said he prepared a few things. Uh, it's really just that, to be honest with uh, you. I'm not going to lie. Okay. It was the four. Yeah, thank you. Here you go, wow. Tyler. Thanks, thank Dan. you. This will go with your Magners. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> this is very good. <laughs> Wait, what kind uh, of first guest to bring uh, pudding. <laughs> 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 you hear this, future guest? You gotta step your g- top. Once you bring for us, huh? I, um, Just some bullion. Narragansett. <laughs> when, you make a, when you make a new friend, you give them something, and I gave Tom snack packs. And he tried to give you Narragansett, but you don't drink. I don't drink, but sorry, that's okay. Sorry. Oh my word, Dennis! Give me back the snack pack. Are you? Sh- these spoons wow, are too big. Are you joking? So good, okay. thank you. What's up with the spoons? The spoons are too big. Ah, uh, well, these are the only spoons we have. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. I'm sorry, Dan. I wasn't prepared for you to bring uh, four little things of yogurt. Yogurt? Pudding! <laughs> yogurt? What are you talking about? Tom, a good way to become friends is to make fun of the friends that brought us together. That's so great. Isn't that a good idea? That is a good idea. I feel so much better. Tell me this, mean things about Dennis. <laughs> Tell me, talk about how big his penis is. <laughs> <laughs> he hates that, dude. Apparently, I know, right? I've never heard someone hate such a. He's like, God, my make big half dick. The podcast get deleted. Uh, no. Dennis. Dennis. Infuriating. <laughs> it's this is gonna get harder and harder to edit out. <laughs> well, I'm not editing it out. Oh shit. I I, what are you talking about? Where'd you grow what? up, Tom? <laughs> we can take a break for a second. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying some invested pudding. Invested in this pudding. <laughs> the pudding's good, huh? Good pudding. Stop dodging the question, Tom. Where'd you grow up? Where'd you grow up, Tom? Weymouth? Mm, pudding. <laughs> yeah. Russia? Mm-mm. No. <laughs> can I guess? Can I guess your <laughs> cultural background? Yes. Russian. <laughs> Are you a Russian spy, nah, Tom? Nah. <laughs> German. No, no, no. Nope. French. Nope. Ooh, I thought I was gonna get that one. Mm-mm. Tom, you wanna? You wanna hear why that? Why did you Why did you say Russian? I don't know. You look Russian. Really? I guess. Irish? <laughs> Are you Irish? <laughs> Maybe you're just Irish. Try saying yeah. his last name in different accents and see which one sounds the best. I don't know his last name. Cros- <laughs> Crosby. Oh, Crosby. <laughs> oh, we did it. <laughs> oh, yeah. We talked about it. Really. Andy, remember? Tom, a little bit about me. <laughs> I don't remember stuff. <laughs> that's just me, folks. Do you, rem- do you remember Dan's me. last name? Oh. Let me. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, your little study uh, tool, huh? <laughs> I mostly remember his mom. <laughs> who I, Bro. Who is a very nice lady. I heard. Tom, we're friends. <laughs> the fucking wide pussy. Oh. I heard it's... It's a long style. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, anyway. No match for Dennis's giant penis. <laughs> Sorry, Dennis. That's all right. That's I am, Dennis, I'm what? Scottish. It's so Irish. annoying. Scottish. I'm here. <laughs> fuck. Oh, I'm fuck. Here. You were right there. You were like eking I'm over. All Scottish in Weymouth. Yeah. That's a thing. Is that true? Yeah. It, I'm Scottish as well. I got Scottish. some in me. You're Scottish. I have some. <laughs> Did you guys do like a. What is it? In me. 23, 23 in me? Yeah. I did do that. 23 in me. <laughs> 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 I just see how many I can fit. <laughs> now I can't walk. <laughs> oh, God. oh God! All right, all right, all right. It's so good. You know what I wish I had more of? This pudding. <laughs> I was gonna ask if you Pretty brought any good, more, huh? but then I got ashamed of the question. You should send us a memo request. What <laughs> <laughs> the pudding? Three dollars a pudding. <laughs> you ask it's on your bed. Three dollars a pudding. You upsell us the pudding. <laughs> <laughs> Make a profit. A <laughs> bit about me, Tom. I'm a shyster. I'm a salesman, uh, Tom. A sal- <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite Shakespeare play? 
Um, that was definitely omelet. Huh? Omelet. Om- <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's pretty good, huh? <laughs> omelet. Omelet. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that's all right. That's very funny. That's very funny. <laughs> what was the joke? <laughs> Tell me the joke. What's, I missed it. What is your favorite Shakespeare play? And then Dan says, "Omelet." I'm not gay. Fuck. Damn. Is it like the? Is that a? <laughs> Fat guy. <laughs> fat guy. No. <laughs> pretty close. Yeah, get him again. <laughs> You're a fat guy. <laughs> I'm not a fat guy. Yeah, Tom's close uh-huh. to a fat guy like you. <laughs> Hell yeah, Tom. Uh, my, my favorite Shakespeare, Shakespeare play is Midsummer, like Midsummer Night's Dream. I like that one, too. It's probably my favorite. One of my favorites. I actually really don't know. My second is Canadian Bacon. Othello. <laughs> Othello's all right. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Is that where Omelet came from, Othello? Omelet and Hamlet. Oh, okay. I mean, Fine. Othello and Hamlet. Called Omelet. Omelet. Uh, What's the next one? A Hamlet fat guy! And Hamlet and fat she's guy. Omelet. Hey, you ever hear the conspiracy that <gasps> you like conspiracy King James? Too? I love him. Yeah, let's get Dude, into conspiracy. Okay, so the guy who huh. wrote the modern Bible, right? King okay. James or yeah. whatever? <sighs> that um, William Shakespeare and him are the same person. And William Shakespeare was like a but alter the, ego of him. Like a pen name. But the Bible because is like a shit. Wrote, the Bible, it's like, like a the poorly the written, written shit fucking story. What? I don't believe that. Because I feel like the Bible sucks. And Shakespeare is a lot It's very like, later. I, I've never read it. I don't know. I've, I thought the Bible was all like I, I heard this stories. out of like a Malcolm X <laughs> book. <laughs> I mean, Malcolm there's some X decent stories. And it. Shakespeare is like 1,500 years after that, right? So how would he be... Are you saying... I'm so confused. So King James, pretty sure they're around the same time, right? No, no. King James, Shakespeare. I think Shakespeare might. Shakespeare's Shakespeare like 1500. 15, yeah, 15. And the Bible's like, oh, oh. No, but like the English. Oh, version. oh, oh. Not like the, not like. Oh, oh, oh you're saying oh, okay when he translated oh, the Bible, oh, English, he said the fuck this. English okay, I can get behind this one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, he doesn't say Jesus is a saucy boy or anything. But <laughs> <laughs> like Shakespeare tended uh, to do. Yeah, Shakespeare loves saucy boys. Was that really one of your questions? Uh, that was Evio's, yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, I like, don't know any Shakespeare. I yeah. know a bunch, but... Know, Give us another Evios. one. Hit us with another What are your Spider memories there? of your first crush? Emma Smith, she played clarinet in ninth grade. I was in ninth eighth grade. Ninth grade, that's yeah. a late first crush. Yeah, that is a yeah. late first crush. Maybe she was in seventh and I was in Wait, sixth or still something. Still late. My first crush that I remember is kindergarten. Preschool. No preschool. Way. preschool. I didn't like girls until like way ever. I don't think. I loved girls. Yeah, I didn't like girls that much. <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> I was busy with all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I was busy eating and fucking. <laughs> <laughs> <and fucking>. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have time for these bitches. <laughs> what is that even Give me a cute little boy and some pudding, dude. <laughs> yeah, you guys like that, Dennis? Who's here? I have, I, it, I have a few more questions for you. Yeah, actually. mine's complicated. Yeah, like the first crush I remember, like it would be Tori Bodell. She was a girl with long, pretty brown hair, and I was like, she's she's cute. I think I have a crush on her. I have butterflies. But then, like, and what grade is this? Uh, this was probably like second or third grade. Right, exactly. And uh, but <laughs> first right. boy crush was uh this guy actually uh this guy Zach in the sixth grade. I was like, oh, he's I didn't know I was gay at the time though. But you go, Whoa, he's thinking back on it, I'm like that. I had a he gave me the same butterflies. Wow. Okay. And that was the first. Time so that is like, sorry. Tom. In in retrospect, like not the first. I guess it's maybe when like gay thoughts started developing. But, like, not, they weren't gay thoughts. They were, like, more gay feelings. Like, were your first boners for boys? Which is a great company. <laughs> or, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd probably, yeah, for sure. <laughs> probably <laughs> men. Did you, like, develop into it, though? Like, were you, um, were you, like, first attracted to women? Or? Uh, I don't know. Like, like, uh, like <laughs> this, like, I don't know. There's, there's this, uh, I think I was, like, it's not that I was, like, taught to, like, you need to fall in love. I mean, that's just how things are. No, I mean, you were probably taught that, too. Yeah, I mean, to an extent, I mean, definitely was. So, it was, like, I, I don't know. I had to, like, learn. Th- I had to, like, unlearn things to learn things about myself. Mm-hmm. And it was, like, it was very strange. Yeah, I. Kind of hard to untangle. Sometimes not jealous probably isn't the right word, but, like, 
with like uh, homosexual other people in the LGBT community. It's a whole thing, Tom. Um, <laughs> <laughs> explain, I get explain. like because I'm such a traditional heterosexual attracted to girls type of guy no. that yeah, I f- he, he's that I feel very much attracted to girls. He loves that. I feel like I, there's something wrong with me in the sense that like there's got to be something deeper. You know what I mean? Does that make any sense? So are you saying you're secretly gay? Because <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think I am. But what if I am? And I don't know. Oh. The fact that I'm oh. so heterosexual <laughs> sounds ridiculous to say. <laughs> <laughs> but the fact, like, like I, I have no gay thoughts, no intrusive gay thoughts. Um, I just feel I don't know weird about that. Is, is, am I? No, I, I mean, you know, you're on a sliding scale. Yeah, I'm up yeah. there. Right and. Dan, what does that mean? You want to elaborate on that? I uh, would send pictures of my penis to women with penises. So where does that lie? Who knows? Right, exactly. You know, and I think that's horrendous. And I oh, would jerk off on. to pictures. Right. No, uh, from se- sexually, they would send sexually. Me videos what do you sexually? of them jerking off too. That was the other thing. That was sick. Would you jerk off of those? Yeah. Hell See, yeah. I think that's for disgusting. A hot minute. And then what I, do you mean that's I disgusting? Was, I, was, I, was, I was on Grindr for a minute, Dennis. Were Holy you really? Shit, Dennis, we stop, Dennis we stop interrupting did you, us, please? Did you no, fucking did send me a heart? No. I. What the fuck? No. There's a guy. Oh, my God. There's a guy I had to block because he wouldn't stop I feel like trying to like. kills on Grinder. Dude, it's insane. <laughs> they yeah, all like, just want to blow each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone wanted to blow me. It was so sick, but I couldn't pull the trigger on it. You should pull the trigger on it, man. It feels It's sick. It's a blowjob. I don't have a gay dick. You all have big dick. Like, legitimately, gay dudes have, like, way better dicks than straight dudes. Maybe that's what it is. It doesn't sound like you're... (laughs) Dan, you're on Grindr. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry. (laughs) Uh, But anyway, so you've tried tried to have sex with women, right? I've tried to have sex with women. But why couldn't you? All the guys are gay when they're having sex with women. You you didn't like the vagina. Huge hugs. Yeah, but I wouldn't say it was disgusting. Really? Okay. No. I'm like, I I guess disgusting. Is there any... Sh- What's this? Is there any... It's very sexually... Tell, 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 I think penises thing. are gross. No. Yes. They're beautiful. I have one. They're nice. Gross. Penises are nice. I think, penises I think penises Maybe, are gross. Do you have like a weird relationship with your own penis? I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you mean? Yeah, my big, my bold, and yeah, beautiful. Yeah, you like you like your <laughs> penis. Maybe I think I like, my penis turned maybe me Maybe if I like my I penis. Don't even, <laughs> I don't even think you think of your penis. I think that's, I really don't. When think you have a big penis, penis you're I don't just think like, about yeah, my it's a dick. Though, yeah. Dude, I've said it all the time. If I was a pink penis, big penis guy, pink, pink, pink penis. <laughs> We'd never talk Everybody, about no. <laughs> a pink penis? You're a no. big penis guy. I don't have a big penis. You're a big penis guy. No, I'm not a big penis guy. But if I had a big penis, I'd be like the penis guy. Are you saying big I'd penis or whip big it penis? out? I'd be like, a, this is my only joke. I'm always naked. Look at my big penis. <laughs> Great. This is by far the strangest episode. We're gonna put is this out. a weird episode? You guys are talking this about your dick fine. every episode. This says no. <laughs> this is what happens when the boys get together. Real icebreaker. Let's all see each other's dicks. Come on. Yeah. All right. We have to no. all one <laughs> Well, no. Tyler sounds disgusting, so he should keep You might need to get Lazo's pants. microscope. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, hmm, grab I'm like, dad's lab I don't, equipment. I'm like, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Just like, seriously. No, thank you. No, no, thank you. <laughs> Can we go back to jokes, please? <laughs> uh, um, I did naked comedy. That was. You were naked thing. and did comedy. Yeah, I did three shows naked comedy on stage. Yeah, in front of a sold out crowd. I killed. He, he didn't say a word. Oh, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> they just laughed. And at then him. I sat on one of the stools. Did anyone get hard? Was anyone hard? Uh, no, I remember Jack. I'd be really to nervous. A, uh, oh, Jack did it. Yeah, a while back, Jack tried to take a Viagra or something, and it didn't work because you have to be like sexually aroused for it to work. And it, you're the opposite of sexually aroused when it works. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, I feel like... That guy. That guy. He backed up you being the fat guy. Whoa. Um, I feel like I'd be like, yeah, let's... Like, before I'd leave, I'd be like, yeah, I'm going like, to try to sexually arouse myself so I look bigger. And yeah. then I'd get there and it would shrivel into a little tiny raisin. It's it's scary. Yeah. yeah. I'd, I, I feel like everyone, except for the black I feel dudes, like that's be. like... Legitimately, the template of someone's worst nightmare. Yeah, it's like it's kind of like going to school without your pants. Yeah, it was but you're on stage. And once you're out there, like, you're, like, you're, you're on stage without Wait, pants. Right before you went on, what were you think? Were you like, I can do this, or were you like, I, I was can't like, it's I'm already, there. you know, the thing, the the wheels already in. We're motion. already here. We're doing it. Were you drunk? I need this improv <laughs> asylum. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think so. 
I was drunk I always. I was need this crowd improv naked? Boston time. Uh, no, they were not, which was fun. It's funny you're doing it for stage time. <laughs> doing like, it there, for stage but there time. is a catch. <laughs> you <laughs> yeah. need 10 minutes. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah, um, I never did those shows, nor was I into those shows, because I don't like penises. I also saw, barely like vaginas. You saw That's boob and dick and penis. So wait, do you think having sex with women is also disgusting? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> but, like, for the most part, yes. <laughs> I think the naked body's kind of gross in general. What? Really? Such really? an intimate thing. The, do I you have a problem with intimacy? Is weird. <laughs> <laughs> I Anyone definitely, have, I definitely have intimacy problems. Oh, okay, for sure. What is this? Uh, we're not friends after dark. What's the name of your podcast? <laughs> 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 now your friends are you afraid of the dark. Are you afraid of the dark? Yeah. That's a fun episode. Yeah, this is a. Uh, that's that's an idea. An advertising tool. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Turn that one on. Can you turn that one on? Uh, no, 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 no. Why? Because it might screw up the lighting of the thing. Ah, but it's better on the eyes, and this one makes me look bald. This lighting <laughs> makes me look bald. Yeah, but we're going to go where it gets sleepy if we shut it off. I don't think so. Is it, are the ghosts still here? The ghosts are up. I might get another beer. Consider me another beer. Go ahead. You mean Long Gansett? How many do you have? I don't want to drink like four like. left. Oh, I'll take one, yeah. Thank you. It's party time. Fucking party. Dan, you haven't drank in how long? Yeah, that's what time. Like two and a half years. That's really impressive. Thanks, buddy. I always get like a week into not drinking, and I'm like, I'm doing such a good job, and then I get hammered. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Thanks, man. I did it over the pandemic, though. Everyone's always like, I don't know how you did it. I'm like, we were inside the whole time. That was. Nothing, I mean, you guys were inside the whole time. I, I fucking. I was like, I went about. <laughs> yeah, you were. You were a frontline worker. Yeah. Yeah. You sell yeah. Work. That you, sucks. yeah. I mean, those plans aren't going to water themselves. Oh, you they literally could the have dispensaries, right? Yeah, <laughs> you said they really could have. Yeah, <laughs> they like, didn't need us. Um, yeah, I I amped up my drinking during the pandemic. Me too. Yeah. It was bad. It was sick. It was so <laughs> sick. It was awesome. Dude, me and Tracy, we made a bar in our bedroom. Fuck. Hell yeah, that's awesome. Dude, it was <laughs> Remember Tracy from episode two? Everybody. Ooh. Yeah, that she used to sleep with a bar in the room. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. <laughs> Scotty did that's his girlfriend's funny. episode. <laughs> So, oh, that's so fine. you and your <laughs> you and your boyfriend have, are doing <laughs> with a couple. Nice, <laughs> yeah. You, your uh, Tracy did an episode with his uh, roommate. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's Sc- roommate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Scotty rules. Yeah, well, you better you drew back off, right? Yeah. <laughs> better back off, Tracy, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're just friends. They're just friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, we, ha- we had them on friends the podcast. We had them in on the Now Your Friends with Benefits episode too. Just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> just, I'm, I'm serious. Just do the sign <laughs> <me up. laughs> That's actually a fun episode. Now Your Friends with Benefits. Yeah. Now Your Friends with Benefits. What should What should that be? That's actually that's what this is. The Now Your Friends with Benefits. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. We were trying to think of cool advertising things. He was doing After Dark. Oh. Okay. Like, we're friends now with. After Doc. What's the name of it? <laughs> Is it still? <laughs> <laughs> I'll get another one. Oh, wait, wait. First Crushes. Oh, First Crushes. There. My first crush was Casey Hennebury. <clears throat> oh, Pre- Tom, did you even answer in the question? In preschool. I, I, I think, <laughs> sorry. It's okay. I was in kindergarten, and I went on vacation, and I crushed on a girl on the vacation. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. She was pretty. She had, She had, like, the... The you know like back then when they do like the the braids yeah the braids. Yeah. kindergarten braids yeah <laughs> kindergarten braids yeah <laughs> keep describing and uh, I uh, I, I, I remember <laughs> I got I, we were like I, I don't know like watching a movie or something I fell off the couch and I got hurt and she laughed at me and I was so mad I was like I <laughs> liked you <laughs> <laughs> I, how could you have done you fucking this? bitch I <laughs> it might have been like it was something not. Probably not kindergarten, but maybe like second, first grade. No, I, I, I can well, then, that. I, I was so sad for the first time. I was like, "Fuck or something." In preschool, I liked this girl named Casey, and then one time at recess, she gave me a uh, bird's Hand job. <laughs> 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 uh, a bird's nest that she found on the ground and I put it in my uh, pocket but when I put it in my jeans pocket I had to like lift my shirt up to get to it and then um, and then she told the teacher on me I had to like get talked to for like uh, exposing myself to her I got me too to preschool <laughs> yeah I had to go in the hallway they like were you really exposing yourself to Casey I was like she get me yeah, yeah I was beating off <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah but she, she was she fucking asking for it yeah, yeah what's she wearing you see your fucking braids out there <laughs> 
Well, Tyler, what was she wearing? Was I she do not remember what it? she was wearing. Let's do one more from the shit box. Baby. Okay, come on, shit box. Here's another one. I didn't know this was a thing. It's so nice. Yeah, this is a. What was that? No, no, no. We We're gonna read last week. Oh, fuck. Whoa. What food or smell brings you back to your childhood? What from child- Sarah. A Damn. lot of childhood questions. Yeah. I like that. Well, uh, that's the best way to get to know someone is really diving into their past. Yeah. Smell? Food or smell. Food or smell. I might open it to anything. <laughs> Any sensory that you got. Um, I don't know why the first thing I wanted was gasoline. Gasoline's a big one. Gasoline's a good one. Yeah. yeah I think that's the one. first one that reminds me of everything because I was like, what is this? Like this is lawnmowers amazing. And yeah, stuff? yeah. Lawnmowers with uh, chlorine. Yeah, fresh cut chlorine. Grass. Chlorine. Gasoline. Chlorine's yeah. huge. Yeah, chlorine's a big one. Chlorine, yeah. chlorine in a hotel like lobby. Like, fun time. like, you know, the hotel has <laughs> a pool, but you can't see it. Yeah. yeah. That's the best smell <laughs> ever. It <laughs> <laughs> should be a fucking that's Yankee candle. Like, that's like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hotel, yeah, lobby <laughs> with chlorine. Fantastic! Wow, it looks pretty fantastic. Um, I would say like a cinnamon r- cinnamon buns is a big cinnamon. one. I was gonna yeah. say apple cinnamon. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. right around the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. I, mine's more of like a, uh, like in the like f- the holidays and stuff. Mine was just on like s- Saturdays or Sundays. If my dad wanted to like surprise us, he'd make like cinnamon buns, and we could like yeah. smell them from our room. And be like, you fuck, it's icing. cinnamon bun day. Yeah, I was, I was gonna say like, icing. and then the I had too many cinnamon bun days. <laughs> 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 now I burp. <laughs> And you're fat. Uh, anyway. Uh, Hell yeah. <laughs> a little on the nose. I'm sorry, Tyler. <laughs> uh, I was going to say the... Uh, I made like, a friend uh, and an enemy out of Tyler. I'm so sorry. <laughs> We've been friends. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I've been trying to get to this, but now I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, like the, the air. Like, I, like when it's like... When it goes like, with air. No. <laughs> 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 when, uh, you know, like when the... Like on like a cool... Like like late September day or like morning or something like you get like that. Like uh, like uh, I do <laughs> yes that, uh, yeah. that the smell uh, like the, the smell of school thing. starting yes yes I was gonna Ooh. say that makes me feel very nostalgic Ooh. the like weather Halloween, of school starting like Halloween yes. as well like costumes That's Bed Bath and Beyond like <laughs> vanilla bean perfume. On an old woman. <laughs> okay, I don't have that. Oh, one. Yeah, that's <laughs> mothballs. Yeah, mothballs. Yeah, that's one. yeah mothballs that grandmother. school stuff. School's big. Yeah. Or like cheese from a box pizza. Lunchables. Papaginos pizza. The, the smell when you walk into a Papaginos is big for me. Yeah, it, it reminds me of those claw machines. Yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. And you get your, like your cup, your Papaginos cup with a bunch of soda in it, and it'll run back and forth to the. Mm-hmm. Um. I want to go bowling. The smell of a bowling alley? The smell of a bowling alley. Bowling? bowling? Yeah, what is the smell of a bowling Uh, alley? It's whatever that shoe smells. This Sunday. The smell of the ball or the hole? It's it's that spray in the shoes, I think. Uh, And uh, the the bowling alley we went to used to do a little tiny oven that that made pizzas. And it was the best pizza on earth. Oh, Lindy's. Yeah. Oh, Lindy's. 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 Oh, Oh, Lindy's. Oh, Lindy. Mm. This one brought us back. Yeah. Do you remember the smell of the wrestling ring? Like yeah, the musty. Yeah, that moldy? smelled like garbage. It was bad smell, but I'm sure, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure yeah, if I smelled smell it like right now, I would cry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I would too. It smelled terrible, but like I know the smell. I wish you could describe smells. I wish I could give you guys smells. Have that you guys ever tried to Snapchat a smell of someone? You guys would want to smell the smell. It smelled smelly. <laughs> but that would make me, I it'd probably bring back some tears. Yeah. Smelling that wrestling ring, which is the weirdest first time sentence ever. Well, you, you said it smelled like garbage, right? It yeah. smelled terrible. Well, because like, it, it, it was had, like, moldy or? Yeah. yeah, oh for sure molds. Yeah, yeah it was sure just mold. carpets and tarp and wood that had been like and left tires. out all winter, like covered in water, and then mm. it like just soaks in and then dries up. It's gross. It's oh my god, I smell it right now. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> I really would like fucking cry my eyes out if I smelled that. This is getting deep. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like getting a little emotional right now thinking what about happened it. Happened in that rink. Uh, I mean, amazing performances. Yeah. <laughs> we really put our heart out there. Uh, well, um, the uh, we already did this. Steven uh, Extreme. Yep. Well, let me add one. Mine was Rick Rumble. That's pretty sick. That's, That's sick. Actually, so that was, awesome. I made a guy in uh, the PS2 SmackDown versus Raw. Oh, hell yeah. Dude, that game fucking ruled. Hell yeah. Keep talking about Rick this. Rumble. I think there's a question kind of related to this. He wore a cage this. on his face. I don't, know who, sick. I don't know who asked it. It's in here somewhere, but... 
if you could rename yourself into anything, what would it be? And Ooh. I mean, a Rick Rumble is a good one. Yeah, Rick like Rumble. Rumble. Yeah, yeah. I, I could be Rick Rumble for a while. I've always liked the na- no, 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 just Let's Timbo. I like Timbo. Timbo. <laughs> 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 I think it's a cool name. Everyone, I said it like a year ago, and everyone made fun of me oh, for it. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. I, I was gonna ask. You, that was like. What Called you or something. No, I just thought it when sounded like, cool. One day I was like, I'm going to be Timbo. 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 Yeah. My name's Dan, but I want to be Timber. called Sprite. <laughs> <laughs> Sprite Hall. I think it would be a good name. Sprite Hall would be fantastic. <laughs> Sprite. I like D. I t- t- you sometimes call me D. I, I call like you that. D. Oh, yeah. No. I think it's very it's right to the what point. Up, D? My dad calls you D Dog. D Dog. He does call me D Dog. Yeah, I go right. I call you D. I also call you Dentist, but that's not a name. It's kind of just mispronunciation. I don't know if the folks at home know, but I'm actually a dentist. Whoa. Yes, for sure. So it's just like kind of weird that. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> it's weird that you call me dentist. That's like if I called you bookstore manager. Uh, it's behind you. Yeah. Thank or you, uh, whatever the fuck you do, Dan. Dan, what do you do for I work in a warehouse. I forklift a lot. Oh, dude. It's pretty sick. Uh, early bird or night owl? Night owl. Tom, I'm a night owl. It's funny you're a night owl as dude, a I can be both. non-alcoholic. I can be both yeah. as well. I'm I a act- night owl alone, not with people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm I am a night owl and I wish I was an early bird. I would love I'd I'm, love to be an early bird. F- for like probably four or five years of my life, pre booze and like a little bit into booze, I was like six every day. Six o'clock wow. every day, just up fucking I mean, I going up on runs. Time, but it's hard as hell. Yeah, and Scotty's up at like five. My roommate's up at like four a.m. Just on I don't his own. think he sleeps. He doesn't. He's a fucking vampire. Time does he go to bed? Like same, like he doesn't go midnight, to sleep. eleven, <laughs> like whatever. He's a vampire. He's a vampire. Scotty, friend of the pod, was Are on you, the pod. What did you answer? Yeah, I'm a little bit of both. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, like I like to. Do you have an alarm in the morning? Weeks, huh? Do you have an alarm in the morning? Some mornings. Sometimes you just wake up. Sometimes I just wake up. Wow, yeah. that's insane. I'll sleep till noon if I don't have seventeen alarms set. I will sleep if till I've like, woken sorry. up. At, sorry, that's, that's, that's sorry, right, dude. No, <laughs> seriously, <laughs> if I had an alarm for like eight, for like three days in a row, the fourth day I can wake up. You can wake up. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like get an, a rhythm. Wow. What do you guys usually naturally wake up at? Like, if you had no alarm, do you even know? Six thirty. 11 really still no, 9 8 30 ish okay yeah mine's like 8 30 i love sleeping Makes i love sleeping but thing. i wake up at 6 30 every day i don't think i, I, don't I know deep why. sleep i wake up at 8 30 and then like toss and turn if it's a weekend i toss and turn if it's work i i wake up at 6 30 but sometimes i'll lay in my bed until 9 30 and that's like three or four hours of just lying in my bed yeah which rocks it's my favorite time in the world yeah Point of the week. I do it like no, once a week. So and it rocks. What is your rocks. worst reoccurring nightmare? <gasps> oh, that's a good question. From Evio. Evio is a great one. I used to have these nightmares as a child where uh, they would the siren would go off and everyone would hear it and it meant we all had to hide in a very it could be anywhere. It could be behind like ever and it could be very obvious places too. Mm-hmm. It could be like underneath a car or behind a tree. Mm-hmm. As long as you were attempting to hide, you were like fine. But these like, these like weird, like I don't want to say men because I didn't feel like they were like demons that would like come and like try to find like capture you and like kidnap you. And uh, I'd always would have a hard time finding the easiest hiding spot. <laughs> <laughs> like lampshades. Yeah, la- like yeah, yeah, like literally <laughs> lampshades. Yeah. Like fuck! I hope the demons think I'm a lamb. <laughs> yeah, I, like, I couldn't figure that shit out. Like I just, put, I'd sit on the couch. I'm like, this isn't hiding. And we're like, I have to go do something. <laughs> but I should be hiding. Yeah, I but should this be is hiding. Me. I could get under a cushion and could do that. But no, I wouldn't be no. able to. Like, it, I'd, pa- I'd panic, and freak out, and I would have that dream all the time for years, years. I, I wonder why. Do you still have? Do you have like I haven't had since from like hide and seek. No, I don't think so. No. I didn't seek is a fun game. It Man is hunt. a fun game. Any, any that is hide and seek I feel like fear. So I have a reoccurring dream that I'm on a cruise and something bad happens on the cruise. And I'll have like, they'll be like, these will be like long dreams. Yeah. So it'll be like, I've lived like seven days. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. And then uh, some bullshit always happens. <laughs> <laughs> some fucking cruise ass bullshit. Stems from, I was it, like a kid. I, I don't know how old I was, but um, I was on a cruise and a rogue wave came at the cruise 
and they had to abruptly. Wait, is this real life or this is dream life? Now we're in real life. This actually okay. happened. A rogue wave came at the cruise. And rogue versus wave, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not bad. Uh, Thanks. It doesn't make any sense. It just sounded <laughs> similar. It just, I mean, <laughs> damn. What is a rogue wave? Great. So, like, you know how the ocean's kind of there? Yeah. yeah. All the of a sudden, ocean's you, all around you. All of a sudden, so you're like, like, what the fuck? This is the wave. Yeah, yeah, I'm, wave. I'm they, having a no tough reason. time comprehending <laughs> it too. You I know just what like rogue I, means? I, I, I had I had the thought. A wild it's wave. Exactly what it sounds like. It they didn't detect it and now it's there. But where does it come from? It uh, come from where? Where did it come from? Where, where do oh, waves you know? come from? <laughs> but what is like wind? The high seas. It's you the know? sea it's aliens. Just anywhere, any any wave can turn into like a rogue wave. Yeah. Like but what happened to you guys? So they had to maneuver the ship. So that because the wave did you was feel coming. it was it like whoa, Dude, well, like the wave was coming at the side of the ship, yeah. So they had to turn the ship, and so I was in the pool when it, when it happened. Whoa, and they, like they away didn't pool, dude. It was like literally, like they didn't announce shit. So just everybody happen. was sitting out, like everybody was doing their own shit, and so and then the crew started to turn like that Whoa. while so you're in like, the pool uh, while I'm in the pool are you like did like a ton of the water like pour out of the yes. pool yes oh, that's so you, I don't even physically that's know how to like the horrifying yeah. the horizon of the pool is the same as the horizon you can see the ship Whoa. Like and there are these like paddles that come out of the side of the ship to help it from like obviously yeah like, yeah 360 but uh so it's turning like that and so you can see like through their like windows on the side and you can see um I, I could see like the ocean and the sky. Wow. But and that's I, sick. Like that that like I mean obviously we lived. Yeah, but that it, that's yeah. why you think you have With this the, trauma. You know, all the time and I've had it like Dude, that. that's like a night if you just told me that story that sounds you were, like, like a nightmare. And you're like psych Already. it's not a nightmare this happened to me. That's terrifying. Yeah. Let me guess. Your dad like hopped out, like jumped on the ship, <laughs> swung over, and fucking dun, rescued dun, everyone. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Captain Jack Lazo. <laughs> Jack Lazo Sparrow. Uh, that's terrifying. Yeah, that's, that's spooky. I'm like trying to <laughs> the fi- the physics of you being in the ocean on a boat in a pool with a wave. <laughs> yeah, I like. I'm like. It, it must be terrifying. I can't even picture any of it. I'm an idiot. Dan, do you have one? Did you already do? Mine was that. Mine's just that I get shot in a dream, <laughs> and I die, and it just is a black room. But I, I'm you, still. Wait, a, you die and wake up in a black room. I'm just still conscious. I'm not a body. I'm just like a conscious soul in like a black space. It looks like a voice, and, and I'm like ah, <laughs> <laughs> like fuck. I'm ah, just a space. Yeah, I'm just in black I've space. I've had the. Sh- I've had the getting shot dreams. Those stink. I always have the getting shot dream. I don't know why. I ha- falling into water. I always know not to try to <laughs> jump on your boat, but <laughs> <laughs> to jump on your like actual story about drowning. But yeah, yeah. well, you know, there's so many layers of drowning. Um, yeah, with falling really into water? Yeah, I always fall backwards into water. And then I'm like 90 feet below the sea level, and then I swim up to it. Never had water dreams. Big Never water had water guy. dreams. I don't think I've had any fire dreams. I have a lot of fucked up dreams since I started taking those antidepressants. Yeah. I've yeah. had a lot of getting shot Wild. dreams. I always have crazy dreams like after I stop smoking weed. That's a yeah. big one. I get crazy. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. lucid dreams. They're very scary. It feels like you well, can do it. Well, they're just very real and long. <laughs> yeah, they for sure. Like you're there forever. I have a lot of fucked up dreams, but they're never like uh they're never linear. They're always just like there's death involved somewhere, but it's never like for any reason. Except for getting sh- the getting shot stuff happens. Yeah. Uh, but it's that's usually like the the only one that's like bo- it's like usually like you have to go down this hallway and watch out for this ant or otherwise you're gonna die right and I have to like avoid the ant for the rest of the dream right, it's always right. like weird stings like, yeah. I had a <laughs> this isn't necessarily a reoccurring dream I had but I had a really like in my early 20s I kind of had like a bunch of little bouts of sleep paralysis and I one stuck out really specific to me um I was like at the time living in my mom's house and I was in the basement um and I was like dozing off and like I kind of was like listening upstairs, and I heard a bunch of people like having a party, like a, b- a bunch. With, like I heard like a yep. b- like maybe like it had to be like a party of like twenty people upstairs, like yeah. just like walking around the house. It was good talking, and I yeah. couldn't identify any of the voices. And then all of a sudden, I heard some one of the voices go, uh, "Where's Dennis?" 
And they all started talking about me. Like, yeah, where is Dennis? He's not up here. Oh, where no. is he? Oh, no. Where is he? <laughs> and then I hear the basement door open, and I hear a bunch of people coming downstairs, and I cannot move my body. Oh, that's a sleep paralysis. Yeah, that's a sleep paralysis. And, like, I couldn't – I didn't know who these people were. It felt so real. It was so fucking scary. Yep. But um, that was that. My – my first bout was sleep paralysis, and like I've had many. So you since. probably got trauma you from go. that dream from when you had a party at your house and you got drunk and you <laughs> <laughs> slept on your bed, uh-huh. and everyone's like, "Where's Dennis?" And you <laughs> know, <laughs> came down, but you couldn't move because yeah. you're too drunk. <laughs> oh, that did happen. I forgot about that. Maybe. You couldn't move. Yeah, no. I, I I hosted a party once and I got drunk and I fucking fell asleep in my room, like very early on. Yeah, huh. that's most things I've ever done. Yeah. Um, my first sleep paralysis was. I was sleeping in my childhood bedroom and and like in real life and I was sleeping and I woke up and there was a little floating girl in front of me and she started to slowly move back to like float back towards my closet, like swiping at me while she's moving, floating back to my closet and I'm like trying to move and I can't. And then I woke up screaming because I couldn't, you know, sleep paralysis, you can't move or breathe or anything. And then my parents, and I'm, I'm, I'm like probably seventh or eighth grade, like, you know. Like, it's a little too old to be doing that. But I'm, like, screaming, and they both rush in. I'm like, there's, like, a fucking little girl. She's, like, floating. And, like, th- my parents are idiots. They don't know what sleep paralysis is. They're like, what are you talking about? Like, <laughs> they're like, are you, oh on, no, dr- are you on drugs? Are you on drugs? I'm like, no. Timbo. Actual gun. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, that's great. Oh. All right. Damn, that sucks. We'll start to wrap. Um, well, are you guys friends or what? Yeah, We're you friends. Think, I like Tom. Dan a lot. Tom's yeah. pretty cool. cool guy. Yeah. Tom, it takes me like six times to meet someone before I'm like, what? like comfortable. I have met it's you more, before. Yeah, this is the <laughs> second I mean, one. Never, <laughs> I have not. We got four more times, I think, and then we'll be besties. How many times have you guys we'll met? Roommates. This is like the eighth time of we've introduced people that have already met. Yeah. People that probably don't know each other well, so I guess. Where did you meet Dan? Probably like. Are you? Probably here. A party? Here? I feel like Dan Hall. You're like a spe- you're like a generally well known. I don't know if oh. maybe I was fucked up. <laughs> 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 maybe I was wicked fucked up, and I don't remember. Ah <laughs> oh, man, I was all banged up. Yeah, maybe Dan was fucked up. Anyway, <laughs> uh, you guys are friend. You guys think you're we're friends? friends. Right? We do it. Yeah, are we doing a good job? Friends, in the pun- yeah, are we. Do- are we- have we yeah, only Tom. created friends here? No yeah. enemies. No enemies. No, no enemies. Like no, no lifelong hatreds. No. I think if you were a girl, you would Dan, you would fuck Tom. I, you would fuck me. Mm-hmm. On the nose. Yes, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> Why do you do that? Danny fucks nose. <laughs> Danny doesn't know. Danny doesn't know. Danny doesn't Danny know. Knows. Right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Tom, when we find you, and do you any socials you want to plug at all? Social media? You don't oh, really use I it much. Him literally do anything. Okay. You're good. Well, yeah. <laughs> if you see Tom anywhere, say like, "What up?" Say heard, hello. Heard you on the Now Your Friends podcast, and you were awesome, Danny boy. At Puke Night Dan, and, and check out the, the Weed, weed game, game Show. Is it at the Weed Game Show? It's at the Weed Game Show, guys. The Weed Game Show. It's so fucking funny. If you it's like fun. weed, if you like game shows, if you like Dan, if you like hanging out, if you like comedy, go check it out. They got shows. Hey, in actually, Boston. you know what? Even right? if okay. you don't like any of those things, yeah. you should still check it still out. Still check it out. If yeah. you like us, definitely go dance the man. Dan's yeah. the man. Yeah, Dan's the dude. Go check out the shows. They do them around Boston. Uh, follow both of those Instagrams so you know where those are. Uh, Dennis, you're at uh, Dennis the person. Dennis the person, that's right. Do you know where I am? Uh, Tyler Swain's off Insta. I'm at Tyler Swain's off Insta. Uh, <laughs> we don't have the Tyler's sign the in front of I us. I have a t- uh, Twitter. But uh, we're at you Now Your Friends on, Twitter. on Instagram, oh, Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> and That's TikTok, uh, please Twitter, rate, yeah. review, subscribe on <laughs> Apple Podcasts <laughs> and Spotify. <laughs> We're on YouTube Dude, now, so find us there. Why? Subscribe Why? to us there. We have full episodes out there. Send us an email <laughs> at <laughs> nowyourfriends <laughs> at gmail.com. <laughs> no, we'll answer your questions pig. live on Roseanne the air. Also, you can text us here. We're going to put the number in in post. And thank you for being our friends. We're fans of you. Good night. I never heard that. Run around and back. <laughs> Mazel tov. <laughs> I, ho- I hope the microphone's got that so. <laughs> <laughs>